Hello and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Fabric and in today's video we are going to discuss a Microsoft Fabric warehouse feature that is clone table. So let's understand what is this clone table feature by looking at the documentation. So this is the documentation for which I'm going to provide you link into the description also clone table in Microsoft Fabric. So what is this clone table and what does it offer? Microsoft Fabric offers capability of creating near instantaneous zero copy clones with the minimal storage cost. What is zero copy? We are going to understand a little bit later, but what does it does or why, how does it help? Table clone facilitate development and testing process by creating copies of tables in lower environment. Table clones provide consistent reporting of zero copy duplication of data for analytics workloads and machine learning model and testing. Table clone provide capability for data recovery in event of failed release or data corruption by retaining the previous state of data. Table clone help in creating historical report that reflects the state of the data as it existed on a specific point in time in the past. Table clone, table clones at the specific point in time can preserve the state of the data for a specific business point in time. So basically what happens is when you create the clone, it start pointing to that specific point in time and then it will have the data and it will retain that data even if your data in the table is gone, you have 30 days retention period or whatever retention period beyond that also this will retain. So that is why it can preserve the history and the business point of time. It will help you in, you know, testing and development and you can have your production data and you want to test it, you can use this clone feature. We have to look at the T-SQL statement how to clone but we will go to that later. But let's look at what is zero copy clone. A zero copy clone creates a replica of the table by copying the metadata while referencing the same data files in the one link. This is going to reference the same files. The metadata is copied while the underlying data of the table stored as Parquet file is not copied. The creation of a clone is similar of creating a table within a warehouse in Microsoft Fabrics. Very similar but it is not going to copy the data. Now table clone in sign up data warehouse. Creation of a table clone. With the warehouse clone tables are created near instance only using the T-SQL, the clone table can be created within or across schemas in the warehouse means within the same schema we can create or we can create have a separate schema and there we can have current point in time means simply I'm going to go table and then I'm going to create a clone previous point in time a clone based on point in time up to 30 days because we are only going to store 30 days of data in the warehouse so I can go in the 30 days in the past only. The table clone contains the data it appeared as desired point in time. In the industry, this feature is also known as time travel. The new table is created with a timestamp based on UTC. You can also clone group of table ones. This can be used for cloning a group of table related in the same point in time. So based on the same point in time, we can also clone. Data retention, warehouse automatically preserve and maintain the data history for 30 calendar days, allowing for the clone to be made in point in time. All inserts and update delete made to the data warehouse are retained for 30 calendar days so we have the 30 calendar days retention is there so past 30 days you can go and create a clone there is no limit on the number of clones created both within and across schema there is no limitation separate and independent what I, what happens separate and what happens independent let's understand that any changes made to dml or ddl on the source of the clone table are not reflected in the clone table so whatever changes you made not going to reflect in the clone table similarly any change made to ddl or dml on the table cloned are not reflected on the source so whether you do on the source table or you do it on the clone table those changes will not reflect in each other permissions to create clone table so we have to provide user with admin member and contributor workspace role can clone the tables within the workspace select permission on all the rows and columns of the source table can clone is required so select permission is required user must have a create table permission in this schema to clone the table deletion of a table clone due to its autonomous existence both original source and the clone can be deleted without any constraint once the clone is created it remains in the existence until deleted by the user so it will remain until you delete it user and admin and member and contributor of workspace role can delete the table clone within the workspace user who have ultra schema permission on the schema in which the table is cloned resides can delete the clone so you need to have ultra schema to delete it now what does clone table is going to inherit the clone table inherits the object level security from the source table 
of the clone so source table it will clone the object level security as the workspace will provide read access by default deny permission can be set on the table clone if desired so we can set deny permission if required later the clone table enhances row level security and dynamic data masking from the source so if there is a row level security or dynamic data masking we, that will also be narrated a clone table inherits all the attribute that exists at the source table whether the clone was created within the same schema or across different schemas in the warehouse so clone table also inherits those right. attributes the clone table inherits the primary and the unique key constraint defined on the source table primary and unique key constraint it will also inherit read only data logs is created for every table cloned in created within the warehouse data files is stored as delta parquet files are read only this ensures that the data is stay always protected from the corruption these are the advantage and then there is certain like the development testing consistent reporting low cost or near instantaneous recovery data archiving or auditing and compliance zero copy can be easily be used to create the copies of the data existing in a particular point in the in the past the data might need to be archived for a long term retention for legal and compliance cloning the table at the various historical point is sure that the data is preserved in the original form so what you do you create a clone in a particular point of time and keep it don't do any changes it will keep on continue to retain that data as long as that clone exists so that will help you in creating the data retention for a longer purpose of now how do we create a clone what is the t sql for it or the t sql is the same sql which we are going to use in the warehouse so when you create a clone how do you create create table as clone of a table create table as clone of a table and then this will create a clone and then if you want to mention a time then you can say create table a clone of at and you can give it time so you can create a clone table of that type so in this manner i can create so let's go ahead and try to experiment what happens when we create clone and how do we create clone can we delete the clone what happens if we delete the original table what happens let's all experiment so what i've done here is basically i have this table sales one and as you can see sales one i updated it sometime back and this is my data before update so quantity 90000 sun and this is my current data so now we know we want to create the clone so let's write down the statements create table sales underscore cl1 as clone of sales1 or we can write down dbo sales for dbo it is created in dbo i can do that so let me create a clone clone has been created let's look at the quantity in the clone so let's select the quantity so it should match with the quantity what we were getting fine let's go and create another clone now this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to create cl2 and this cl2 i'm going to create at a time stamp so i'm going to give add so a clone has been created on a given time stamp let's go ahead and look at it so it is it has quantity 90146 which is there in the past and cl1 which is created with the current as the quantity which is 49913 which is there as a current point in time so we have the clones now what i'm going to do is let me delete one of the clone i am admin on this one so drop table sales cl1 and let me drop it i deleted a clone so does it make any difference so clone one was current point in time any difference made here no clone two any difference made here which is a clone one is deleted no current point in time is still intact okay uh, let's look at the clone one now clone one doesn't exist so we don't have now what i'm going to do here is i'm now going to drop the sales table and see does clone 2 remains or not so drop table sales 1 so i'm dropping the original table sales 1 also so sales 1 table is been dropped now look at the is clone 2 is still there or not but you can see the clone 2 is still there so it retained that copy of for the clone while the table has been dropped so you would like to see whether the table is been actually dropped or not so by running a query let's say we run a query on the sales table so we go and run the query on the sales table let's run this query the table does not exist let's run this query the table does not exist but we still have the clone 2 and now from the clone 2 i can go back and create the sales one i am able to get the data in a particular point in time over the original table definitely it will not have the history because that is what it lost with when it got dropped so in this manner you now learn how can we create a clone what kind of data that clone will contain because of what point in time it is creating it can retain that data for long now what happens when you drop the clone and what happens when you drop the original table at all you have learned so why don't you go ahead and try it out and do let me know what else you want me to consider in this particular series thanks for watching this particular video thank you Keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you